Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and today we have a rabbit hole to go down. A rabbit hole that you yourself can access right now, ladies and gentlemen. A rabbit hole that's streamed since 2006. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Chip Chan. Now this is someone that I think we've seen on the Deep Web Browsing series, you know, at some moment in time. We've actually seen her live streams uh, during an episode, and it's a little difficult for me to trace that down. We have so many episodes and so much stuff happening in each one of them, um, but we actually actually did come across this individual before and at the time I was a little intrigued but I really didn't pay any attention to it. That is until two days ago when uh, I was sort of sent information about this individual and what they've been doing and it actually traces right here to YouTube itself. See Chip Chan is an individual that has been streaming since 2006. She believes she has a mind control device implanted in her foot she is being traced by a rogue cop named P, and uh, she is controlled by multiple intelligence agencies around the world. Her various ailments come from this uh, implant that she has, the mind control implant. Now, if it sounds a little outlandish to you, let's start slow real quickly. So Chip Chan actually has a Reddit uh, subreddit that's uh, all dedicated to her. I think everyone has a subreddit dedicated to them that has a pulse at this point. But she actually boasts around 6.3 thousand members. Now, I don't believe this is actually Chip Chan's official Reddit board because I don't think she really has that. There's actually more so people just cataloging her day-to-day -day life. So you can see four days ago, one day ago, that she's basically being followed by this group of uh, hardcore fans that sort of catalog her every action. It's almost similar to uh, Trolls of Dark Side Phil, so to speak, that sort of trace every action day by day by day. So let's go into this. The subreddit is dedicated to discussion about Chip Chan, the South Korean woman who believes she had a Verichip implanted in her foot and a cop named P is stalking her and has been over uh, and has been over for 13 years and is after her money. She believes he can control her sleeping patterns. She set up webcams in her apartment so she, as well as interested viewers, can see if he breaks into her apartment. Now the thing is, Verichips are real. For those of you who don't know, Verichips are tiny biometric identification RFID chips that are basically the size of a grain of rice inserted in for various reasons, whether for identification or uh, I believe GPS, uh, GPS uh, transmission. So let's assume that you had a farm animal or an animal that you had as a pet and you lost them, then you can easily pull up their GPS information through that Verichip itself. I think you can do it to kids as well, but I don't think that should be allowed because uh, it's your kid, it's another human being, GPS tagging human beings is not the normal thing to do. But hey, that's a whole separate video for another separate time. Now I believe Chip Chan actually has a inheritance, I believe, like she is relatively, I would say, wealthy. Wealthy enough to basically sit down, do nothing all day and sort of stream her life away. Um, yeah, I, I think if you have that kind of a life, then you're pretty chill, you can do whatever you want. But yeah, so the whole validity kind of comes into claim. And we can see this as we go into it. Now, her channel is Mind Control Weapon. That's, uh, she has around 2,693 subscribers. And she gets a couple hundreds of uh, views per stream. Now, for those of you who are wondering if this was a joke, let me show you a couple things. Let me add oldest date added. She has been doing this, I believe, on this YouTube channel for about a year. Now, she's been doing this since 2006. But if I can go in, let me just go down all the way to uh, newest to oldest real quick, back to where we were at. She streams multiple hours a day. Just, just not, just now, she's been streaming around 11 hours and 55 minutes. So nearly 12 hours, four hours and 30 minutes on one stream, one hour and 17 minutes, two hours and 16. And if you look at days upload, some of these are multiple day uploads. So she's been uploading like, I believe at one point she uploaded four videos in the same day. And it's one of those things where when you're live streaming on YouTube, and you finish a live stream, it automatically gets uploaded. So all she really has to do is start her streaming software, end her streaming software, YouTube takes care of it. And the titles never change. So at the end of the day, she's just firing up her stream, killing her stream. I believe anytime you have those streams that are like two minutes, three minutes in length, it's just a, a communication error. Uh, and she just restarts her stream and continues off from that point. And she's been doing this for a while. As you can see, most of the thumbnails are the same. She sort of lays in one side of a room. She has signs put up, a clock that says live all the time. 
and uh, that's really all that it comes to. Her community tab really has nothing, and her channels tab doesn't feature anything to it. But over here, she actually has a website uh, where you can view these live streams directly. Actually, you can't. You can't even pull these up. Corrupt Korean Cop P is stalking me using mind control weapon. That's what she says. And I believe she has a date for when she streams in Korean, or uh, I, I, I don't know what's going on. 2012 at 6 p.m. seems... See, it seems, seems like a pretty pivotal date. But if we open up one of these streams, I'll show you real quick what it is. So she's actually speaking right now. This isn't like text-to-speech or anything. But basically, you can see that it's not the highest quality stream right now. She streams in 480p. Her camera quality is still stuck in 2006. I believe she just has like an old webcam pointed at her the entire time. But if you can go through over here, ladies and gentlemen, it just basically cuts to her fucking sleeping there. So here she is just sleeping. And I believe at this moment we have text to speech. So if I could just sort of mute it a little bit, you can play it if you want. This is all people see. So she has a message in Korean running like a ticker. She's just laying there in her chair and she's got a clock that says live and a bunch of signs that are posted in Korean. Now, if we look at the chat, she does have somewhat of an active chat. I mean, there's people that watch this, right? Like 10 likes, two dislikes, and she's got, well, somebody pr professed her love to her. That's a, huh, well, we got a little love story today. That's something. But she's got a uh, chat replay that goes on and uh, it's, it's relatively dead, I would say, for the most part. Can I just get a refresh? Of no, it's not. So it just updates. YouTube does not do that. Now, overall, her chat isn't the most active. She has a couple people that talk the entire time. But at the same time, you got people who kind of troll her a little bit. Like this one dude is like, she's elite. She's asleep. Wake up. Mr. P is coming. I'm at the door. Like, there's people obviously trolling her, which I don't fucking agree with whatsoever, because at the end of the day, we'll get into this, there is something real and dark about this whole situation. But yeah, so mind control weapon in her feet, and that's it. We live in a world where this is a 12-hour stream. That's something. That's, that, I'm not even kidding. You know, at some moment in time, you would think, is this a joke? Well, if it's happening on a daily for this much time, it's really not a joke, is it? Now, Chip Chan's also got a block spot that she's made just this year, where she kind of gives uh, the English audience something. So here it is. P broke down computer remotely again. Remote PC damage, February 4, 2019. Identical symptoms again, power supply failure. PC power supply got broken again to stop YouTube streaming. All the PCs are all power supply damaged. Phone, electric light, electric dryer, cleaner. Whenever I try to stream, the power goes on and off again and again. And I was too scared to stream. In the street, the phone turns off and on again and again. Upload later. And here you have people trying to help her over here. Like, I guess this is bad. I can't believe this is happening to you. Do you require money? If you do, we can totally help you. Things like that. P uses electronic wave. Disturb my YouTube update. So I cannot update my current situation at YouTube streaming page for four hours. But after this posting, I could update. So basically YouTube was not allowing her to update anything, which this is a common error. Like sometimes YouTube will auto sign you out and ask you to just re-authenticate your OAuth token. So this isn't like totally weird out of the question. But yeah, P apparently did that. That was something. Um, next thing. PC is broken again. Korean police use mind control to harass innocent civilian. P broke my PC remotely again to stop YouTube streaming. So P apparently made me unconscious while I was awake walking in the street. Took me somewhere, stabbed me in my feet. So basically while she was sleeping, she apparently believes that P had taken her, stabbed her in the foot. That looks like dry skin to me. Like you need moisturizer, girl. Like that's, that's what you're going to need, dude. <laughs> like, that's not, that's not, that ain't it, chief. I'm just saying. A major function of mind control weapon is making you unconscious. I have not slept on the chair, but been being unconscious. She has obviously a bit of an English error coming across. I mean, she is, she is South Korean, right? I, I would expect English isn't the native. P makes me unconscious for about five to 10 minutes when I'm awake, walking in the street with my eyes open and kidnaps me, commits sexual assaults, transmits mind control weapon all over my body, or steals and break my stuff like money, shoes, clothes, bags, my bicycles, locks, phones, batteries, everything I carry. 
Five to ten minutes later, I gain consciousness and am awake. Got back where I have been, but I do not know what happened because I have been unconscious. I don't know what was going on before, but for more than ten years, so many times, the same things happened, I noticed. So for ten years, anytime she goes out, she does this. I would almost say she starts doing, like, some live streams, you know what I mean? Like, if she's... Yeah, I mean, if she's already streaming herself sleeping anytime she's outside, I, I don't foresee that she's not going to start live streaming. It's, it's relatively easier to do. I mean, she lives in South Korea. It's not like she has an internet problem, right? So here she describes mind control weapon, what it is. So making you unconscious is a major feature. Who and why implant? It is implanted to labor, social activists, enemy spies, politicians. You need to be watched and investigated by investigating agencies like FBI, CIA, Pentagon, police agency, army. I mean, at the end of the day, if you list every intelligence agency out in the world, you're bound to get it right. You know what I mean? Like FBI, CIA, NSA, you know, so, someone's, someone's watching me. You're bound to be right, right? Like eventually, if you just mention everyone, one of them is right. So, okay. When do they implant? On moving day, you become busy, tired, and distracted. It is easier to break into your house to implant. How do they implant? They implant on your cartilage bone on the right foot, which is connected to your right brain. Uh, this, 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 right side of the brain? Okay. After implanted, you feel only a little uncomfortable without feeling hurting. If it is implanted on your bone, it hurts like bruise. Most victims of MCW don't know if they are implanted. If mind control weapon is implanted, they see what you see, they hear what you hear, and talk by reading your brain. And you become a slave by the major function of MCW, making you unconscious. After they make you unconscious, they command you to do whatever they want, and you obey. They enter your house anytime they want. If you become unconscious, and they order you to open the front door of your house, you open. You lose your privacy, personal life, and they see all the passwords, because they see and hear whatever you see and do, talk or hear. Mind control weapon on your right eyebrow is even more dangerous. Your brain becomes the hardest. They take out and read all your memories. What the fuck, dude? Your right body is always warm because the MCW in your right foot. You can feel a considerable difference in winter or in the cold place, your right body. All that sounds like placebo to me. You know what I mean? Like, if you just think that your body is in pain, eventually your body starts giving you pain signals, right? Like, if you keep thinking enough you'll probably end up feeling that way. It's literally that placebo effect. But she's written basically everything she has about this, and she sounds genuinely scared about it. For sure, I would be too. I mean, this is slowly becoming more real to me as I read into it. So here's more about P. Cop P was born in 57 or 58. P retired in around 2015. One cop told me, but it is not confirmed. Another cop's wife said Cop P was on TV news in 2007 talking about subway crimes. Funniest thing is, P is Christian, every day doing the evil, vicious, anti-Christian things. I forgot, South Korean is pretty, pretty Christ-dominated, isn't it? He wants eternal life and going to heaven. He thinks his crimes and sins will be forgiven. If you repent after you take money and kill me, Cop P has been afraid of me going to church. Makes me unconscious when I go to church. Mind control weapon is anti-Christian, the mark of the beast, 666. Everybody, please pray to God this anti-Christian Satan cop P go to hell. All right, dude, we got some hell wishing going on. Jesus, I mean, hey, G Jesus wasn't around for no microchip implants, right? I I'm sure times would have changed. But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is getting pretty real. You know, this, is, this has gone beyond just... The thing is, if this was trolling, right? Trolls aren't this dedicated. Nobody is 13 years dedicated to a troll attempt. That really isn't as fruitful as you think. I mean, most of her streams have one or two people watching, so it's not some financial gain. It's not some popularity gain. It's all real. Like, all of this is, is real. Everything we're doing in this video is covering somebody who's suffering from something very real to them, at least, right? And it probably is. It could be. I don't know. I, I'm a skeptical dude. So here's somebody who translates her streams. This is from April 24th. Her video descriptions are written in Korean, but some people can translate. And I guess I'll give you an excerpt of what you should expect at this moment. Um, get up immediately after losing consciousness and killing torture ass. Park Seong Dong. I've been stealing dozens of phone charging cables, but it's going to be ruined. 19 04 25 I close my eyes immediately, and it is a tortured, sleepy torture. Night, 12.30, 7, 8 hours after... Did somebody break in? Eh, fuck it, I'll look at it later. 7, 8 hours after losing consciousness. Wakes up immediately, fe feces, murder, torture, turn off, repeat. Only the torture. Murder, torture, allergic, rhinitis. Park Seong Dong cannot broadcast on a mortal report. Park Seong Dong, I've been stealing dozens of phone charging cables, but it's going to be ruined. And, yeah, it just repeats itself. Park Seong Dong, I cannot let you down. And the reality is, I don't really know what to say about it. 
I mean, it kind of just goes everywhere. I believe these are also rough translations too, so you can't exactly get everything you expect out of it. So in this post, people speculate that she has some form of schizophrenia, which I totally believe because that kind of explains the whole P thing and the whole things are following you around. I believe she has some form of hallucinations going on that are left unchecked, unfortunately. You know, in this situation, the problem is, is if she's been streaming for hours upon hours every day, I would have hoped the South Korean um, wellness group, I, I would have thought South Koreans would have done a wellness check at this moment in time on her because... It's not like the evidence isn't there. You know, she, she's doing this constantly. And what she's saying, yeah, it's a conspiracy. It sounds like it. But at this moment in time, she needs some form of a wellness check done on her. Uh, but then again, I don't think that would work too well. She already has this warped view about the police agencies around her that I don't think it's exactly easy to do that in the first place. So it's kind of a complicated situation. And again, I don't also agree with anybody on the subreddit sort of dragging her down. You know, this is a real issue. So anybody that's on here just trolling her, like, bro, just calm the fuck down, all right? Let's not let's not troll somebody going through this shit right now. It's not funny, Chief. That's not, that's not what you should be doing. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope I introduced you to a bit of a rabbit hole today. I kind of covered most of the stuff I researched on this, as far as I can tell. Um, Chip Chan is unfortunately an individual that is just out of the limelight of a lot of things. So I gotta say to begin with over here, it's it's a weird situation. You know, it's a 13 year long experiment that's not really an experiment anymore. It's a real situation. And for Chip Chan's sake, I hope she gets the help that she needs. I hope she escapes P or whatever, you know, I can, I can really say at that point because it seems like she's truly having a tough time in life and nobody should have that at the end of the day. And anybody that's trolling her, like get the fuck out of here. Uh, South Korea, there needs to be some wellness check done on this situation because live streaming for 20 hours a day sleeping like that ain't exactly the healthiest thing to do. And really, shit should get looked at. You know, it's one of these situations where I kind of sit here and wonder how has this gone on as long as it has. And I hope that this comes to a amicably positive resolution. I hope that she can get along with her life. She gets rid of her mind control weapon. And uh, she doesn't have this disdain for the South Korean police and government anymore. You know, at the end of the day, I hope life gets sorted out. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that was the Chip Chan rabbit hole. And if you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Just like it if you dislike it. Weird shit indeed. Glad I did this one in the morning, okay? Because I don't, I don't really like watching somebody at 3 in the morning. If Wow, I can't believe I watched. I was the only one watching a South Korean woman live today sleeping in front of me. That, Ladies and gentlemen, this is me, Mudahar, and I am out.